Welcome to raikatkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to use Postman for calling Jira REST API. In this video, I will cover each and everything in detail. So don't skip a single part of the video. Otherwise, you might miss important concept. And if you're visiting this channel first time, feel free to add your subscribe tab this always helps me or motivates me to create more content. If you don't know about Jira and their products, feel free to watch my complete Jira playlist, which will guide you each and everything in detail. Here, we are going to create API tokens and by using those tokens, we'll call or do some request through Postman. So this is a very important concept. I will also explain to you how we can authenticate. Based on the user request, I am coming up with this video because even I have created these type of video in past, but based on the request, I am creating it again. Now let's start with creation of API token. For creation of API token, you have to navigate it to this URL. Don't worry. I will include the URL in descriptions. From here, create API token. So there are two mandatory requirements while creating API token. One, you should have the administrator privilege. And after having the administrator privilege, you need to have the Postman installed or you can select any API call tool. This time I will create create API token and here we'll add Jira demo. That's the API name. Once you'll add the API name, you'll get API token created. Copy this and paste it to notepad because we are going to use the same thing for login. Don't worry. After this video, I'm going to delete this API because it's my credentials. Make sure to you create your own account and then start using it. Once you're done, navigate it to this part where Postman is available here. We need few informations to be added. Before that, we have to authenticate it. As of now, we are going to use basic authentication. Here, I will add my email ID, rai deepakd at the rate gmail.com. This is my personal account. I will add the same token as a password. That's it. Okay, and next is for generating the endpoint URL, you need to navigate it to this where you have to select some projects where you need to have some informations. Now here, we don't have anything better to move some other projects where we should have something. Here we have good number of informations. Let's consider I'm going to use this one. So for building endpoint, you need domain name and these domain names are majorly required for connecting your instance. Suppose that we'll use some protocol. For REST API concept, just type Jira REST API and you will get detailed documentations. So here developer.atlassian.com will have all those documentations related to API or docs cloud REST API. As of now, I'm using cloud version. That's the reason I will navigate to this page where we'll have some request or API request is available. For adding this, we need some informations for getting the request. Those informations will get it from here. Which version of REST API you are using? If you are using version 2.0 or 3.0, make sure to add it accordingly. Let's consider I'm, I'm working on this part. This is having 1.0 version. Based on the information what you are looking for, you can ask at the endpoint. Now let's consider I wanted to get these informations here i will add the same thing this will create my account agile backlog and then issue which all issue we have 
here we'll click on send and now you can see all the projects related informations are available for me here in jira rest api we have version 1.0 version 2.0 and version 3.0 so version 3.0 is in beta phase whichever documentations you are looking for navigate it to developer.atlassian.com cloud jira software rest api from here you will get each and everything if you are referring to data center versions or server version then feel free to request for the server versions or data center version respectively you can see here i just built one endpoint and these endpoints we are going to use it for requesting any details for getting any details here what i did i added rest agile 1.0 issues and 1002 once i will send the request i will get all those informations related to this issue id this issue id you can get it from the project informations now if you wanted to see the complete detail about this see this we have started with the issue where you can see the uh, project name this is project name this is the key id project type key and then simplified as false project id is this one when you will navigate it down you will see detail related to these issues what is the reason time zone display name everything is available here so whichever informations you are looking from rest api you will get it here other than this you can also request for 2.0 in 2.0 version you don't have to add this agile rest 2.0 maybe we can add api 2.0 and then issue and then issue id you can see exactly same informations i got it here but the structure might change according to the project to project so if you have whichever versions you are using based on that you can request it see this now if i'm just looking for my uh, issue for project id or project key i will get it from here this is my project id instead of issue i will directly add it here so endpoint you can always get it from here let's consider we are requesting from the board informations you will get board related informations from here now i will just add board after 1.0 and then request for the detail we also have to add the board id if we don't know the board id just request the details with the board and post that you can add the board id as well this is a project id make sure to add board id it's one so id is one if i'm just looking for board id one detail you can see it here so board name is as board type of project is scrum project id is one own one assert as then as software and all those things so whenever you are looking for these type of informations make sure to customize your endpoints and based on that you will get detail in request method you will find it out get post put patch delete head and options all those methods are available this is the http method where you can request any informations from the jira rest api if you wanted to create the board normally use the post method if you wanted to just extract or fetch the information you can use get if you are updating something use put method and when Whenever you want to delete any of those words, use delete method. I have already covered a lot of videos related to Jira REST API. I will include the URL and description tab. If you wanted to start from scratch to the master level, make sure to use it. But at a point of configurations, you can always configure it through Jira and then connect with your postman. Postman will give you detail about your REST API data. That's all for 
today's video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle and as i mentioned or as i requested your feedback always valuable for me this always gives me motivations to create more content thank you for watching